Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can share view to all, uh, how we can share data to all views in Laravel. Even if you have not heard the word uh, view composer in Laravel before, you are missing a big concept in Laravel because this is something that you almost need in every project. If you are not using this, maybe you are not uh, building the, your application in the right way and you are repeating yourself. So you must know about view composer. This is one of the most useful com components of Laravel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this. Here is the problem. Sometimes you need to send data from to multiple view, uh, views, multiple or all view. How you would do that? You might uh, write that on a controller, uh, on every controller. Let's say let's go to the code, and I will show you how it will work. If I come to the controller so here is a very fresh level 5.5 install this is going to work in level 5.6 5.4 all versions so this is just uh, the version i have installed here here is the our application if you don't know how to uh, add admin lt you can watch our previous video and uh, in the channel we we show you how you can integrate it so this is very simple in our code we have a controller called category controller this is a controller let's say we need a data in our index as well in our let's say okay we don't have any other view to to view those things let's say we have something for for the the show page we have uh, we, we should send those data for the edit page we need those data for the update we need those those data what uh, what will happen you will send all the data from here let's say if you need those data the easiest example is uh, that we are going to solve is that you have let's say you have a user we have a user here who's login what if you need this the user information in every view let's say you are going to query their profile anything about the user their name or their last login anything that you want uh, to get from database how you would do that in every view this is how view composer is going to help you send data once to all view here is uh, how it works if i come to the web here is my web.php down there i can just paste a, a little code here i have commented there view composer you can see view composer store means all of course you can just write master you can write the name of the view it will send only to that view then as you can see this is an array an array can have multiple let's say you are sending it to to the category that index only category that index will take that one maybe you are going to send that to the profile that index only these things will get that but if you are going to send that to the all views just put an star here it will send these variables this data to all views here is how it will work we are getting the auth user the user which is authenticated then we send that authenticated user with all their information their name email address all of them to all views like this this is that much simple the first line will get the user data the second line will send it this much simple here is the view and here is our uh, view that we pass as an argument so now in every view i can uh, have access to the variable of user here is how I, I am going to use this one. If I go to, let's say we are going to our resources. Here is a home. Of course, in a home we have access to the user. When a welcome, uh, also we have access to user in category also. I am just going uh, to create a new file here. Let's say test.blade.php. Here I will. Uh, I can access those information if I write user name it should show the username here so for the test we don't have any route let's make a route here if we send a request for the test then we can say this is going to display any row which we, we don't have any controller for this one if you don't have a controller you can just pass a function 
here this function will do the work for you so it will return a view our view is test so I'll save it okay we have some mistakes here okay unexpected come I think we have to put something there uh, yeah we should put the function of get here now we have the get save this one it should work now if I come refresh our page so here it is we have our page if I instead of the home I go to the test as you can see we have admin we can view their email address if I come here and say this is an admin refresh it yes okay no admin the email address sorry for that you can view their email here this is that that much simple now if you create any other view here let's say you have another view you just create a file uh, let's say here is a profile that delete that PHP and this one will extends the layout the master let's say it has a section of content end section if you are going to come here h3 inside this one let's say you write something like user name you just write a welcome for them save this here is the profile I will come and create a route let's say we have profile here the same thing here just to save time if I come this time we don't have any test if I refresh it will show the 404 page but if I go here to profile now I have welcome admin anyone who is logging they will show their data here now no matter which view I am I can just view the their information out so this is this, this much simple if I come here going to the here okay we can go to the home page but if I show it here still I can show it we have a, we are in the welcome page here is Laravel and I will just display the user information here user name you don't need to send that here you have access to those information here again if you come here you can uh, uh, you can write any other data as well uh, you can send them to the all view like this one so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to comment below the video thank you for watching